Hey GearHeads, Jeff from Gear Report here in the Project Humvee Battle Wagon and today we're going to install a rear view mirror. So GearHeads, if you're new to this channel, here's a little bit about what we do. We review outdoor gear. A lot of firearms, hunting, shooting sports items lately. We also do camping, hiking, backpack, but you're here to see the Project Humvee Battle Wagon. That's another project we have if you like content on U.S. military Humvees that are now in civilian hands, how to customize them, how to make them more user-friendly and less raw. And stick around, we got a lot of content for you. Why don't you go ahead and subscribe while you're here so you don't forget. And then uh, we got a lot of projects coming for the Project Humvee Battle Wagon. You don't want to miss any of those. In the Project Humvee Battle Wagon, to give you a look at where there's something missing. I mean, in a uh, typical civilian vehicle, right here, somewhere in this area, we would see a rear view mirror. Uh, so in the Humvee, you see we've got uh, mirrors on the outside. Here's one. The other one you can see just in front of the uh, windshield pillar, it's right here. Um, kind of unusual positioning for them. You know, a typical vehicle you'd expect to see uh, a mirror here with an unobstructed view. And uh, I guess this is a closer to a more traditional position for it. But uh, so when it comes time to back up, you know, I can look in this mirror and uh, see somewhat okay. That one is a little bit more difficult. Depends on, you know, if the windshield's fogged up or anything. I can turn around and uh, you can see behind me, uh, this is opaque. I can't see through it. I have a window, but I have to lean over to see out the back window. Um, so if I'm trying to transition from the mirrors where I'm sitting here, and I can see in this mirror, I can see in that mirror. Um, if I if I need to lean around, you know, now I can't see either of those mirrors aren't lined up. So um, it really would be useful to be able to sit here, you know, in the standard driving position and have a better view through this back window to be sure I'm not going to run anything over when I'm backing up. So to do that, I have gotten a couple parts. And I will link in the uh, comments of this video uh, to each of these. So first we have the CIPA mirrors. This is the 32,000 black is the model. It's about 10 inches wide. It's a day or night mirror, meaning it has a, a little adjustment lever on the bottom. And um, you know what we're going to do is uh, we're going to figure out where to put it up here. And we're going to attach it with this Permatex rearview mirror adhesive. Uh, let's see, use it on metal buttons only. Hopefully that's what we have because uh, that's what I've got. We've got a lot of directions on the back. I'm going to read through those here in a minute and uh, see what we have. So for now, uh, why don't we get this mirror out, take a look at it, and uh, you know, hold it in place in a couple different places and, and see what a good position might be to mount it. So. Here's our mirror, and you can see we've got the button on the bottom, the little lever, rather, to change from day to night. And uh, we've got the little slot on the back where the, the button that attaches to the window will go. All right, so if we set this, see that? That causes some problems. The windshield wiper is right up there where it causes us some problems. I'm thinking this may end up being installed right about here. I think... That's how we're going to angle it. I was debating here. There's also the option of attaching it to the window this way. And, and what I don't like about this is when it's up here now, that uh, mounting bracket is visible. So I'm thinking this could work better this way. All right, so we've got our mirror, 10 inch mirror. I'm thinking if we want it somewhere like that. That gives me a pretty good view right out the back. So I've read through the directions. The directions that come with the rear view mirror basically say if you need to cement the new bracket to the windshield, follow the directions you, in the adhesive. Here's the adhesive we're using from Permatex rear view mirror adhesive. And the instructions say to clean it, wipe the 
contact area with the cleaner activator. Put one drop of the rear view mirror adhesive and one drop only on the back side of the um, button, the metal button, and that's what we're calling this. So this is the side that goes against the windshield. We'll clean the windshield with this activator. Let me see. Do not wipe the button with the cleaner activator towelette. So that is, uh, that was my next question. It's answered right here. Something important to know right now, it's 53 degrees. It should get up to low to mid 70s today. That's important because it says between 50 and 75 degrees gives you the best adhesion. You know, if it's curing during that temperature range, and we are solidly within that and will be during the entire curing period. Per the directions, I've peeled this open. I'm not actually touching that cleaner activator towelette. It is uh, glued in the packet. There's a lot, of, a lot of liquid in there. So we've got that wiped. And this, by the way, I didn't do the crayon on the outside to mark where I'm putting it because there's a little spot on the outside of the windshield that you probably can't see in the video. But that's what I'm going to use to align, as well as I've got a couple lines coming out here to help me align where everything goes. Here is rear view mirror adhesive, and we're going to put one drop in the center of the button. Oh, that was actually probably a little more than I wanted. Right about here. We'll hold this for one minute. There we have it. Well, gearheads, uh, the direction said wait at least 30 minutes. Uh, I had meetings and other things at work that tied me up for a few hours. So I just finished and came out and you can see, put two drops instead of one by accident. I should have wiped one of those off because it's run down. I'm gonna have to get something to scrape that off. Otherwise, this I'm, I'm pushing and pulling pretty hard here and it seems to be holding pretty good. So let's take our mirror and see if we can get it on the, the button. There we go. It's down and on. Oh, check that out. All right. So there we have it. You can see that actually lines up really well because I'm sitting where I normally would sit when I'm driving. There we go. We have a rear view mirror now. All right, so once we have the mirror in place on top of the button on the windshield, the only thing left to do is use a T15 bit to tighten this little set screw. You can see I don't want to break anything. I'm just going to kind of hand tighten it here. All right, here we go. Oh, that, that's solid. I don't think it's going anywhere. All right, so there we have it. Rearview mirror in a Humvee. Uh, don't forget, if you found this video useful, we've got a variety of other videos we've done and some more that we're working on for the Project Humvee Battle Wagon. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe on the website as well. It's gear-report.com. That way you'll get updates whenever we post new content and you won't miss anything. Till then, we'll see you at the range.